Hi, welcome to the Do No Harm series. I'm Mary Von Olin, Holistic Recovery Coach, and I'm here with my colleague and friend, Rebecca Karsher. Hello, so excited to be here today. I'm a medical intuitive and nutritionist, and I can't wait to talk about this t today. So that's it, I'll just stay calm. <laughs> <laughs> this is our introductory video to this series, so we just want to introduce the concept, let you know um, what we'll be talking about in this series of, I think, uh, I think it's seven or eight, seven or eight videos, uh, seven topics to follow on this concept of do no harm, which you've probably heard of in association with the medical field, right? Medical practitioners, supposed yeah. to do no harm, right? Right. So what inspired us to do this, well, it was kind of a a joint effort, right? What, ins what inspired me personally was a patient of mine who is a nurse was venting to me how she was forced to, vac to vaccinate herself because she worked in a hospital. And, and it was against her beliefs, it was against her wishes, and, but yet she could lose her job and so on. And she, she's like, I thought we took an oath to do no harm, and I just, you know, she's just beside herself over it. And um, I said, yeah, that's really not the way, you know, the way that we should be treated. Um, and so it's almost like medical harassment, you know, it's, um, it's harmful. And, and she was so livid about it that she got sick. Um, whether it was the actual virus that she was injected with or her own fury that she didn't have power over her own body, she was sick um, following that. And, um, and, and so, yeah, this, this kind of got us going on, let's do, let's do a series on do no harm. Because how silly is it that we have to do this series? Exactly. Well, that, you know, you told you, mm. <laughs> this world is insane. Um, but, and so Mary, before I, before I go into my diatribe, mm -hmm. diatribe, please share how you came up with the name. Okay. Um, well, a few weeks back, Rebecca and I were going to speak on the phone and, and our agenda was, what should we talk about next? What, you know, let's do another video series. And I literally maybe sat for five minutes in quiet meditation, not even before our phone call. And the words do no harm just popped right into my consciousness. I mm -hmm. said, hmm, that's interesting. Had no idea why. Um, and then I mentioned it to Rebecca and, and of course you, um, you know, confirmed the story that had just happened. I think you just had that conversation with that nurse a few days prior or the day before. Mm -hmm. And then, and then in my, um, travels a couple times, I, my eye quickly caught, um, the, the medical symbol, you know, the, the symbol of, of the medical field often used as like an emblem or part of logos for doctors, for medical universities and associations worldwide. Um, and often you'll see it on, on the license plates of a physician, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it's that, um, like it's a staff and the, and the snakes. So anyway, that kept getting my attention. And again, I thought, well, that's interesting because I would associate that symbol with do no harm with the with the medical profession, the Hippocratic Oath, um, all of that. And so I started doing a little bit of research on it, which was very interesting. And <laughs> what did that find, Mary? <laughs> <laughs> well, so I find that symbols, you know, I mean, first of all, our previous series, we talked about, um, you know, exploring energy, right? Exploring energy in everyday life. And mm -hmm. both of us working um, within the field of, of energy and energy healing, I'm always interested in um, what's the energy behind different things. And symbols have energy, right? It's like words, you know, words have meaning and energy behind them, colors, everything has energy. So symbols can be very powerful. And for the medical field to choose this symbol to represent them, yeah. Um, that visually across the world was very interesting to me. So I started looking it up and really there's two symbols is what I came to find out. So the original symbol, um, that, that the medical field started to use many years back, um, was based on, uh, was, was called the, um, the rod of Asclepius. Okay, okay. Asclepius. Asclepius. So it's that it's actually a single rod, a single staff, like a single stick with one serpent entwined around it, uh, you know, curled around it. 
And they chose that because I believe the, um, it was like a Greek god, a Greek demigod, Asclepius, was associated with healing and medicine. Um, I also read that in the um, Homer's Iliad that uh, he, he had the character Asclepius was a physician that treated the wounded soldiers in, on the battlefields at Troy. So anyway, that symbol makes sense, right? Because it's, right. it's associated with, with, with healing and um, treating you know, people who are ill. So then at some point in time, I think around the turn of the century, um, around 1900, um, somehow they started using a different symbol. And that, that it's very similar, but it's completely different. So it went from the, the rod of Asclepius to, um, ca, I think you call it Caduceus, Caduceus um, which is also called like the Staff of Hermes. And again, it's a stick. It's like a staff. But this time there's two snakes intertwined and wings. That's the one we see everywhere today, right? Yeah. And it's so interesting to me because somehow they adopted that symbol out of a lack of awareness. <laughs> or whatever, and energetically, well, and symbolically, that symbol is associated with, it's a symbol of commerce and thievery. <laughs> so it's actually, and, yeah, yeah enough, it. enough said. So do with that what you will. <laughs> right, commerce and thievery. Commerce yeah. and, thie and thievery, and, and then that just became this widespread symbol of the medical field, which is still quite often used today. I and mean, if, you know, when I, when I did some research, there's some, there's a couple people have done articles on it and said, Oh gosh, guys, we're using the wrong symbol. Um, but yeah. it's still, it's still all over the place. Very interesting. Yeah. Very, very, very interesting because the rest of our series is going to talk about how this thievery in commerce and, um, I, I just call it greed and ignorance, um, how it is widespread in, in, um, conventional medicine and I find it to be atrocious that I even have to like I said that we even have to do this video <laughs> it's appalling to me that this is where we are in our evolution um, once again where we what's inspired me to do what I do is because <clears throat> when we are sick we're already in a state of unconsciousness we're already in a state of ill health and when we go to a medical doctor the assumption silly me is that they're going to help us be be healed and up until about a hundred years ago or so that was maybe the case but ever since you know in doing uh learning more about what ty bollinger is putting out which is um he's behind the movement of the truth about cancer he explains about how um, the, the family of the Carnegies and the Rockefellers have single-handedly taken over our textbooks, our curriculums, and our meaning in, of um, the medical doctors, and made it so that they're getting these doctors with good intentions are being brainwashed that the only way to heal is through prescription drugs. That ain't the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you mean we're not deficient in, in prescription <laughs> drugs? We don't have a, a natural prescription drug deficiency? <laughs> and the, that's not even the part that gets me upset. What gets me upset is that millions of people have bought into this and, and have accepted, oh, okay, I'll take these prescription drugs. And whether it be the doctors or even the patients, they are going through the motions like, you know, sheep to the slaughter, so to speak. It's there. Does anyone have a clue when you look at what these uh, statistically what's actually taking place? People are dying off by this method of healing. And so I, you know, here, here's my here's my logic, Mary. And I, I was joking about this with you earlier um, a couple weeks ago. When you go to, and you purchase a service, you expect that service. We know this. When you go to a store and you buy a shirt, you pay the person money and you leave with the shirt. That is a commerce. That is, <laughs> that is a transaction, right? Go to the shirt store, you leave with a shirt. Yeah. You leave with a shirt. Why do we go in sick to a medical doctor and leave with more sickness?
and call it healthcare. And call it healthcare. And <laughs> I'm like, what world did I show up in? Like, what, you know? And so, and anyway, I'm going to remain calm. But anyway, that is who and what we're all about is come on, people, let's wake up. And my next, um, our next episode is going to be on self awareness, which is literally waking up. And we're waking up to ourselves because we personally, individually, each and every one of us is our own healer. And not this, you know, not even me, no one. All I can do is bring about your own healing. I, I mean, I'm a facilitator, if you want to call it that, right? But we are our own healers. And so that's, that's really the agenda behind the series is that stop giving your power away to these thieves, okay, and start taking your power back. And that's, Absolutely. you know, that's been, that is my message, right? Enough well, is enough. Put. Well, well put. I mean, and that it's, you know, what I was just explaining to a prospective client yesterday is, is it's about awareness, right? As when, yeah. when we're working as a coach or a healer, it's really just about the, the healing and the change comes within. But our job, I believe, as you know, or my job as a, you know, is to facilitate awareness because you can't change what you don't know, right? Right. And, and, and so that's what we're talking about individually and, and collectively is um, operating on assumptions and uh, getting and assumptions that were kind of put out to us uh, by mm -hmm. a, a pretty corrupt system from, from, from the very, you know, tip, tip top and um, mm -hmm. well-meaning individuals who have, who have bought into it, you know, on mm -hmm. both sides of it, um, physicians and patients. And, and basically what we're here to do is speak common sense and truth, <laughs> raise awareness yeah. to, the, to this, this lack of awareness, these assumptions that are coming from um, efforts at control versus authentic power. And that's what we're about, like reminding you, waking you up, like Rebecca just said, to your authentic power, which is within. Right. right. So now that you have no some harm. of the history of, I'm sorry, did you I'm say? I'm sorry, something? and then you can do no harm. <laughs> and then you can do no harm. <laughs> I also... <laughs> So, so now you have to know a little bit about the history that over a, a little over 100 years ago in this country, there was a lot of holistic medicine as the norm. And then I was just watching it last night. Now, let me just take note. It's October 11th, 2018. And um, the Truth About Cancer Summit is going on right now. And I wa was watching it last night. And, um, and was one of the, the doctors that was being interviewed was talking about how you know, by the 50s, all of the homeopathic uh, schools had been closed down. They were slowly, you know, getting wiped out due to this agenda. Um, and, and so, you know, I'm considered a quack, okay? Um, and there are, you know, other, all this alternative medicine, all this natural medicine is deemed as, oh, that's just a joke. Um, but if you, if you look back at uh, human consciousness, you see that this is of an unconscious energy of greed, pride, ignorance, um, and so forth, and trying to control uh, the masses, which is, you know, it, that's more of a collective thing that's happening that we're evolving out of. Um, but yeah, it's, it's huge. It's huge. But so we're going to talk about self-awareness next time, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're then going to do a little episode on vaccinations, followed by another episode on prescription drugs, mm -hmm. then on the conventional medicine in general, mm -hmm. and then another one on chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's what we have planned, and I'm very excited to be presenting this to you, mm -hmm. and I hope you stay tuned and um, get empowered by this information, because enough is enough. Yeah, and and finally, I think the the final episode in this in this little mini series um, will focus on practical solutions. Okay, so we're not just talking about the problem. We are we're um, seeking to raise your awareness about the problem, so that then we can help direct you towards practical solutions that are based on truth and truly doing no harm, bringing your body back into harmony and and uh, and our our consciousness back into harmony. Right. And, 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 and I'm glad you used the word harmony because I wanted to, I may, wanted to make sure that we talked about that. We want to go from harm to harmony, um, which is just balance with all things. Um, and so, 
yeah, I'm really excited. But me too, me too. That's the other thing I've been I've been working on behind the scenes, just a little a little uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek is that I've been writing um, different things that are all about the theme from going from harm to harmony. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we all lived in harmony? And why the hell don't we? I don't even, <laughs> again, I just shake my head with what, what, what world do I live in? But anyway, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Um, and just as a last note, I do practice what I preach. I haven't gone to a medical doctor in maybe 20 years. I'm a, a healer by trade. I heal myself or I ask other um, friends for guidance and assistance, you know, other professionals. And so if I can do it, you can do it. And that's kind of where, you know, that's kind of my point too. I'm not, don't think that I'm going to a medical doctor and then doing this show. It's not, not the case at all. I'm speaking from personal experience and professional experience. So let's do it. Exactly. We're walking the walk. You can too. <laughs> At your own pace when you're ready, but it starts with awareness. So thanks for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you on future episodes. Thanks for liking this video, sharing it, commenting, and subscribing to both of our channels. Thanks so much. See you next time. Thank you.